Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a job board using custom collection data on your website on Doric. So first of all, I'm going to create a collection for job posts. So let's click here on add new collection. A pop-up model will appear with few options. The first option is collection type currently set to none. But if you click here, you'll find some templates for few of the topics and you can choose any of these templates to proceed from there. Now I'd love to select none as I want to create a new collection from scratch. Now it's time to provide a plural name for the collection. So as I want to post job posts, so I'm going to type out job posts as of now, and automatically it is going to take the singular name of the collection and the URL of the collection from the given name here on plural field. Then we are going to select the editing layout as we are going to provide the job description. So I'm going to select full editor and let's click on add collection. And here we go, we have created our job posts collection. It's time to add fields on this collection. So let's click on this fields option and you can see automatically we got some fields already added. For instance, that for the job title, we got this name field. For the URL, we got this slug field. Then for the description of the job, we got this content field. Now a job post could have company name, company website, company logo, salary, let's say job type information, apply now link and many other fields. So let's learn how we can add those fields. To add a new field, you have to click here on this add new field button and then a pop-up model will appear with two or three options here. The first option is type, you have to select. If you click here on, you'll find few options. If you want to add a text field, you can select text. For rich text, you have to select this one. If you want to add logo, image, banner, you have to select image. Then we got for website link, for apply link, you have to select this link option. For number, we have got this option. And if you got one to select from multiple option, here we got this option. And for email field, we got email. So let's proceed with company name. So I'm going to select this text option. For label, I'm going to type out company name. And if you want to make this field mandatory or required, then you can simply tick here. Or if you don't want it to be required to be given. So in this case, you can simply make it like this. Now let's click on add new field. Let's add another field here. And I'm going to add logo of the company. So I'm going to select image. Let's type out company logo. Let's click on add new field. Then I'm going to add company link or website link. So let's select link as a type, then website URL. All right, so this is how you can add more fields for salary. You can select tax, let's type out salary and other fields here. So I'm going to add a few more fields and then we'll proceed. All right, so here I have added few more fields by following the exact process I just shown. Now it's time to go back here on our job posts collection page. And now it's time to start adding job posts. So if I click here on new job post, then you'll find the job post title providing field. Then we got the description field. And if I click here on this gear icon, we're going to find the slug, which is going to be taken automatically here from the job post title. Then you have to provide the company name, company logo, website URL, then the salary. I made a mistake here, but it's okay then got job type, then got the apply now link. So I'm going to add information here. Let's say hello, new job post as a, as an example. And then I'm going to get some lorem ipsum text here. And here we got this plus icon to add, let's say text, heading, image, list, quote, table, telemeter, and other information here. All right, so let's keep this as it is. Now let's click here on this post settings option. And from this option, you can see the slug, the link already taken from this job post title. Then we're going to provide the company name. For instance, I'm going to type out Doric Inc. As of now, let's upload a logo here. I'm going to select Doric's logo. And for website URL, we're going to type out HTTPS as an example. Then the salary, let's say they're going to pay us $45,000 per year. Then we're going to select the job type. If it is a full-time job, part-time job or remote, let's select full-time as of now. Then the apply now link. So I'd love to provide this apply now link here as of now, but you have to provide the respective link here. So let's click on create item. And then it's time to click on publish. And if I take you back to this job post page, you're going to see we got our very first job post created. Now I'm going to add few more job posts by following this exact process. All right, so here I have added few demo job posts. It's time to go here on design and page. 
and after that we're going to click here on page option and we're going to update or make some change here on our job post template so let's click on job post template after that we are going to remove this part from here let's say and let me remove these things as well and I'm going to remove this section entirely and for the contents I'm going to add a new section let's click on add new section let's go custom section let's add this column after that let's add add element let's scroll a bit down we're going to add this rich text content which is CMS element so let's select this one and we're going to select the text to content so it is going to curate the content from the contents that we're going to provide and let's close this out after that we can customize this job post page so that whenever someone will click on the job post then you can specify how the job post page should look like so for instance let's say I'd love to add this to at this column to 100% so that the post title will be placed in the left side and here on this content page or content section I'd love to add a sidebar then we're going to add the company name the website and other information so let's do this I'm going to make this column little smaller so let's say I'd love to make it to 75% or 66% and I'm going to add a new column so let's click on add new column add a new column from here after that I'm going to make this column to 33.33 percent so that we'll have this appearing here on the right sidebar and after that I'm going to start adding the information let's click on add element then I'm going to add the company logo here so I'm going to click on image then let's specify the image as company logo and after that under this logo I'd love to add a new column or actually a uh, nested column here so that I can provide the company name here and then the company name the actual name here so let's click here on this plus icon and I'm going to add this text field and I'm going to type out let's say company name I'm going to make it bolder and then I'm going to click here on this plus icon to add a new element here on this column and then I'm going to add let's say another text field and we're going to pick the information from the custom collection which is going to be the company name here we go we are seeing Doric Inco appeared here now I'd love to adjust this I'd love to make this let's say 33 percent for the company uh, basically not company name simply keep this company so that it will look nice and for this one I'd love to keep let's say 66 percent 66.6 percent so that will have this looking like that and after that I'd love to simply duplicate this row right click and then here we go we got this duplicated now I'm going to provide salary information and then I'm going to make a change here instead of company name I'm going to add the salary information and then I'm going to duplicate this row again and I'm going to add let's say job type and in this field I'd love to populate some other information let's say job type and here we go it is going to show them show us here now I'd love to add this apply now button right here so let's do this we are going to click here on add new row below then I'm going to click here on regular button and I'm going to make a change here to apply now and I'm going to link this with our apply now icon so that sorry link so let's click on button link from external link I'm going to select CMS item slug then from URL I'm going to select it to this apply now option so that whenever someone will click here on this apply now button they will be visiting the page from where they'll be able to apply on this job and I'd love to add a margin here for this column let's say 20 pixel left margin so that it will look nice and let's click on publish now if I take you back to our job post that we created inside the custom collection copy any of this job link so let's open it up and just take a look how the job post page is currently looking like and obviously you can customize the page as you want so now it's time to populate the job post on the home page or anywhere of the website of your website so let's learn how we can do that simply I'm going to take you back to the design and page option so that it will open up the website editor let's say I want to show the job post right after this hero section so I'm going to add new section here and I'm going to select custom section and then let's take CMS row with column so I'm going to click on this first column and then I'm going to connect the database from here to data source 
custom collection select collection it is going to be job post as we got only one collection and then we can start designing the page for instance i want to show let's say logo here then some other information here some other information here and the apply button here so let's learn how we can do that so let me click on this add element then i'm going to scroll a bit down and then we're going to add let's say this four column after that i'm going to add our logo here so let's take image add cms company logo and if i if you just take a look here we are seeing the logos appearing here on each of these columns as these are cms row and cms contents elements whatever change we are making here on this column it is going to take effect on rest of the column under this uh, let's say section so i'm going to add let's say a uh, company name here so i'm going to type out let's say text and here is company name company name all right so here we go we are saying the company name now let's click on this plus icon from heading we are going to add the job post title so h3 and i'm going to select the name of the job post here we go it is going to be appeared like this and after that i'd love to add the job post type here so let me click here on this plus sign then we're going to select text and i'm going to select job type just take a look these are being appeared here right now let's make this job title clickable so whenever someone will click on the job title they should be able to read more information about the job so let's click here on this edit element let's scroll a bit down we're going to find this title link option after that we're going to select the link type from external link to cms item slug and then we're going to specify the url so let's click on add cms fields we're going to select slug and now the post is or actually the title is clickable whenever someone will click they'll be able to read the job description now i'm going to populate this field with the salary information i'm going to click here and let's take this text element and we're going to select salary from here and after that here i'm going to add the apply now button so i'm going to select regular button i'm going to type out apply now and obviously you can customize all of these uh, button styling so i'm going to scroll a bit down and link it with cms item slug with our apply now link now if i simply publish this site we'll be able to see how it is looking like now we can simply customize this these fields as well for instance let's make this uh, a bit smaller to 16 percent 16.77 and let's make this a bit bigger so 33.33 uh, percent and let's keep them as there now we can simply click here we can align the items content alignment to center center and if you just take a look these are going to be centered aligned now i'm going to click here for this column we're going to align them to center and let's take them to left uh, horizontally and after that for this pricing information i'm going to take them to center so center and center here we go after that let's make them or take them to center as well so let's click here and we're going to select center and aligned to center just take a look how they're looking like right now if you want you can add borders to this column so i'm going to click here on this edit column button or the icon if i show you again here edit column after that if i go to styles we're going to find this border option so i'm going to click on border and i'm going to add a border of uh, let's say let's say specify the color from here and let's add the border width of one pixel and if you just take a look we got the border added but we got some uh, issues these borders are touching each other so i want to give some space to do this i'm going to click here on this edit column let's go to style and on margin on top i'd love to give 10 pixel and on the bottom i want to give 10 pixels of gap and here we go just take a look how it is looking like now we can add a title here for job post we can simply add let's say i would love to add a new row and a regular row where i'm going to add a title job posts and let's take this title to center and i'm going to simply drag this and place it right here so that it will look nice right so now if i click on publish if i open up this page in a new tab and if i click here on this um, job post it is going to take us to the actual job post page 
if I take you back if I click on apply now button it is going to take us to the link that we just connected here inside this button so this is basically how you can create a job board on your website on Doric by populating information from custom collection I believe you have found this video helpful but if you got any further question please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information thank you so much for being with doric